Hey everybody, I know it's been a while, but I'm back reviewing Zoya's 2020 Fall Collection Luscious. Let's get into it. First off, we have Wanda, which is a cool tone rouge pink with a gold and rainbow micro shimmer. Now this is actually pretty sheer. I ended up having to do about three coats for all of these, but I was surprised at how much I really liked this one. And this is Wanda with three coats and no top coat. Patrice is a neutral blush with a rainbow and gold micro shimmer. I don't know if you've noticed this or not, but Zoya polishes all have girl names as their names. So my goal in life as of this moment is not to finish school. It's not to grow up and be, actually, I guess I am technically grown up. I don't shut up. I don't want to be grown up. It's to have a Zoya polish named after me. Once I can paint my nails with Anissa, that's how I'll know I have made it. Here's three coats of Patrice with no top coat. Teresa is a deep purple toned ruby metallic. Saying all these girls' names is making me feel like I'm announcing contestants for a dating show. Teresa is a Sagittarius who loves all the fusions, jazz, Asian, and nuclear. She's looking for Mr. Right. And now I'm kind of wondering who would win. You know, so far my money's on Wanda. I don't know why, but Wanda just seems like the name of some chick that you do not want to mess with. Oh right, I was painting my nails. And here you can see I've clearly forgotten how to because I got it all over. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and scrape that off. Don't you worry, it's all gone. Here's three coats of Patrice with no top coat. Now Andrea here, she fancy. She's a cool toned duochrome metallic with a purple and green shift. And in The Real Housewives of Zoya, she seems like she would be drinking a skinny blini teeny with a twist, complaining about the clothes her Uber driver wore, but she's really entertaining so everyone hangs around with her anyway. Right, nail polish, I keep getting distracted. A tip with this one, cap your free edge before you paint the rest of your nail, otherwise it leaves weird marks. And here's Andrea, three coats, no top coat. Bentley is described as a deepened grape cream, which actually sounds kind of delicious. I'm picturing grape flavored whipped cream, but you know, good grape flavor, not like cough syrup grape flavor. I think we're onto something. Somebody get on that. She's a gorgeous color, but she's a little fussy. She's kind of patchy. So you got to get enough on your brush to be able to spread it evenly and adequately. And why, yes, my right hand is sporting Andrea. I filmed this video because there are 12 shades over the course of three or four days. And I wore that to bed one night because it's gorgeous and I like it. And here we have three coats of Miss Bentley, who likes to drive around in her daddy's jag and wear designer flip-flops. Sharon is a red-toned wild berry cream color, and she's the president of the PTA, and no, she won't give you her recipe for lemon squares. I noticed that a few of these shades ended up kind of patchy, unless you really loaded your brush up. But if you loaded your brush up, then it just turned out so beautifully. It self-levels really well. The color is opaque and gorgeous after three coats. I'm a fan. And here she is with three coats, no top coat, looking gorgeous. Lisa is a rich garnet red cream color. And yes, I realize that this clip is out of focus. There are going to be a few swatching clips from here on out that are out of focus. I got a new camera that I'm not altogether used to yet, and it's been so long since I made a video that I don't even remember what the last video I made was. You can still see what color it is, and that's what matters. You can see that it's a pretty color, and it's painting on well. So, you know, so don't at me. I've got stuff to do. Boom, three coats, no top coat, in focus. And here is Soleil. She's a warm sparkling cider metallic. She's a free spirit who prefers to be barefoot and her dream is to open up a wild organic butterfly hatchery. I really was impressed at how well this polish self leveled and it was opaque in pretty much two coats. I'm actually wearing it right now, it's bomb.
Two coats of soleil, no top coat. Tommy is a blue toned slate gray cream. Ooh boy, look at that coverage. I'm getting lost in her eyes. And a little bit of cleaning up because we all make mistakes. Tommy doesn't judge though. And a little more cleaning up, Tommy understands. And three coats of Tommy, no top coat. Tasha is a brunette brown metallic. Girl, look at that coverage. You could probably get away with just one coat on this. I don't because I have OCD and have to do at least two, but girl, she thick. Also, I feel like Tasha would be the prom queen that people really like because she's actually really nice. And what did I tell you? Unnecessary third coat. And here's three coats of Tasha, no top coat. And this here is Mel. She's a slightly muted forest green cream. Look, it was getting late. I had swatched a whole bunch of these polishes. I was tired. I still had homework to do. And I just had a hard time coloring in the lines. And I didn't show it, but here's three coats of Mel, no top coat. And rounding out our dozen is Lou, as in skip to my, a spruce blue cream with a kiss of green. And this is my favorite shade, I think, of the collection, at least today. It was interesting. In some lights, it looked kind of slate blue, but in other lights, it definitely looked teal. I couldn't decide what it was. It's very cool. Oops. Go home, Anissa. You're drunk. And I'm just going to go ahead and scrape that off there. And here's three coats of Lou, no top coat still. Well, that's it. Thanks for joining me, everybody. If you want to watch any other videos, I think some are going to appear on this screen sometime. Go ahead and subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And I'll try to be back soon with another video that is just full of complete nonsense. See ya!